Our live app chat is all about the hot new tech that has everyone chatting. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black just came back from the International Consumer Electronics Showcase. We all know it as CES. You say this year was huge. It was huge. There was over 2 million square feet of exhibitor space all over the Las Vegas Convention Center, hotels, all over. Anywhere and they could squeeze technology in, right? They, yes, <laughs> and technology was broad from small little tiny wearables to the technology that's going in cars. So this was the largest CES that even had a lot of automotive technology. Tons of the automotive nice. companies were represented. So we're going to take a look at some of the fun, cool, different things that came out. Great. So one thing I wanted to point out is that sensors are everywhere and they're getting smaller and smaller. So they're going into all kinds of devices from toothbrushes to, <laughs> to tell you whether or not you brush your teeth correctly to uh -oh. even into more things that are maybe a little more relevant, but into watches for kids that you can use as GPS trackers. So if they get away from you, you can actually track them on, their, on your phone. Nice. So this is great because it's not a clip or something that they can lose, or even a phone they can drop. It's actually attached to them. So this is a neat product. And we'll and begin, it looks pretty cool too. And it looks like they'd wear it. Exactly, and we're going to get some of these in and actually test them out and give them trial runs. Nice. Now, like I said about the sensors, they're in everything. Well, this one is actually in almost like a Band-Aid type strip. And so you can actually, if your infant's sick and you need to monitor their temperature, you don't have to wake them up, and you can have a constant recording of what's going on temperature-wise. And so it's literally like That's a Band-Aid. Pretty smart, huh? I wish that was around when my kids were little. Same here. Yeah, I, I thought very it was, helpful. I like that. I thought it was fabulous. Um, this one, whole set of health and wellness um, products. So this one is for monitoring your insulin and your glucose levels, again, through your phone. And um, the devices are all attached to your mobile devices, so you get history. You don't have to go back and reference a sheet of paper. It all tracks it right here. And really. I can get that to my doctor probably and pretty get, easily, so he's on track with me, too. That's exactly correct. Love that. Yep. So there's a whole host of these coming out. Um, there's wearables everywhere. There's tons of watches. Those have already hit the market. A lot of them are for men, and they're quite large and a little bit bulky. This particular company, I was on the lookout for women. Yay! <laughs> and I found one and only decorative jewelry type smartwatch for women. That's a smartwatch? This is a smartwatch for women, and it, uh, yeah, you can wear it running or as in, with, in a well, nice outfit. Like a bracelet or a cuff bracelet. And that's exactly what it is. And so. Oh, Yep, so that's Very another cool. neat thing that's coming. Ooh. Now, this was really interesting. This is a smart ring. Oh. <laughs> and again, sensors are getting tiny. So this attaches to a base station. You can be in your house. The base station attaches to your lights, to your stereo system, and to other appliances. And you can wave your hand and turn on your lights, do it in a different motion to turn on your stereo. And oh my goodness. all without getting off the couch. <laughs> Abracadabra, new channel. <laughs> exactly. All right, this is an amazing device, and I look really forward to testing this out. This is brand new. It's called Strone. Mm -hmm. This allows you to make international calls without all those roaming fees. You actually Ooh. put your cellular chip in this. It becomes a base, and your calls go through it as opposed to through your traveling device. Well, isn't that a little bit of sneaky but yeah. awesome money-saving idea? So that one's that one's coming out in March, cool. and then 3D printing the exhibits for 3D printing were huge, so much so that you could even print food. I was going to say that looks <laughs> like a little piece of food. Is that bread? This is bread, and actually printed what's on top of the bread, but you can literally print into shapes of like dinosaurs and people oh, and all kinds of interesting goodness. things. So 3D printing is going beyond the plastic toys and actually into food products. Now it doesn't cook them for you, but it gives, but you, still. But it gives you whatever shape you want. So you can see that's sort of future tech that's coming oh, down. Yeah. That'll be in the Carolina kitchen before we know <laughs> it. That's right. I think that's, oh, oh. one more last trackable. Okay. Oh, and this is really important. You don't want to lose your pet and you want to be able to track your pet if it gets yeah. away. So this is a pet tracking device specifically for animals. Real high quality attaches. This is by a company called Tag. This sweet dog, Venus, was fabulous and Just so we got a demo of that and it was quite great so much and you're getting some of this in personally I'll be getting some first? lots in throughout the year this is really just a teaser there's 3d body scanning I had a 3d scan of my body done they printed in figurines it's unbelievable the tech that's coming out is really spectacular we'll get lots of it in here so stay tuned definitely and that was what we'll be coming up but go to our website WLOS.com and when you get there click on tech time you'll see what we've showcased and hinted at today and you'll be able to follow all of Francie's upcoming reports yep. as we test out the new technology I can't wait yep.